Here we'll look at drawing in the new curves menu in version 24. Let's start by drawing the shape of a bench top and auxiliary lines. Once we've created the shape in auxiliary lines, we'll turn to the curves menu. Let's start by drawing a new curve and plotting the points based on the auxiliary line points. In version 24, by holding control and left clicking, we now get a blue line which then controls an arc. Let's close the curve and you'll see a spline so we can change the spline into a circular arc. By editing the arc we can now type in a size, what radius we want those arcs to be. So we'll see here if we go back to Axo view and we look at our curve menu we've drawn the lines or the curve lines so we can create the profile. So we go to 3D data, we'll go to profile and now we'll enter a profile. So with version 24 we can draw the profile and now what we can do is we can edit the curve. So if we click on the curve we can now edit the radius and it will redraw the profile part live. This is new to version 24. We'll go back, go back to our 3D data and we'll now look at the ribs. So here Pytha creates a rib. It creates a top and bottom plate and also a number of ribs and you can control these by the slider bar or the number down here. You can set the number of ribs. So the ribs are placed equally around that that curve. Once again you can edit the curve real time and the ribs will change. So what we'll do now is we'll just delete a few points. We'll make this curve a little big bigger. You'll see here with the new menu you can insert points, delete points. We're moving the points so we can change the radiuses. We could have started by just drawing a new curve but I just wanted to show moving some points and, and, and manipulating the curves that were already drawn. So let's activate the hook menu. So then we can start to see some of our library items. And here I've got a couple of profiles already pre-drilled. So you can see here we've got some counter profiles. Here's a straight counter and here's a counter that has a splayed front. If we click on the ribs function again we still get out of the same ribs. But now if we hit select we can then pick the counter profile and the system will draw the counter based on that profile and we can edit that curve once again and it will change live. So here we're just looking at one of the new functions as well called x-ray view. So I've turned on the solid, I've turned off the edges and now I'm looking at the parts that are see-through that are in, in, in inside the ribs that are inside. We'll change the profile now, we'll select the second counter which is displayed front and you can see instantly that the system will change based on that profile. In this instance here if we want to change the hole location of the penetration then I can just move that hole and what we'll see is once we update the section we'll see those changes implemented. This is just a couple of features of the new curves menu, um, stay tuned for some more videos coming.